the killing of President Lincoln. The United States remained united, yet the North's joy over its victory in the war soon turned back to mourning. On April 14, 1865, John Wilkes Booth gained entrance to the Lincoln's private box at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C., as the president and his wife, Mary, sat watching a play. Booth fired a single shot into Lincoln's head and then jumped down to the stage. The unconscious Lincoln was taken across the street to a private house. He died early the next morning. Booth was an actor, fiercely opposed both to Lincoln and abolition. He was part of a group that sought revenge for the defeat of the Confederacy. They planned to kill not only Lincoln, but also Vice President Andrew Johnson and Secretary of State William Seward. As it turned out, only Lincoln was killed, though Seward received serious knife wounds. Union troops tracked Booth and another man to a farm in Virginia. Booth was shot to death. Others in his group were later tried for their crimes. Four men were found guilty and hanged. Lincoln's body was sent by a funeral train back to his home state of Illinois. Although gone, Lincoln lived long enough to achieve his main goals, saving the Union and ending slavery. Legacy of the Civil War. The end of the Civil War also began the next chapter in the history of the United States. By December 6, 1865, the 13th Amendment had been ratified by enough states to become law. Two more amendments, the 14th and 15th, giving former slave civil rights and voting rights, were passed within the next five years. Beyond freeing the slaves, the Civil War established the principle that the United States is an indivisible nation. States, whatever their feelings about their country, do not have the right to secede from the Union. In the years since the Civil War, the nation has seen other times of great strain. Americans continue to be divided today on many issues in many ways. Yet we remain one nation, the United States of America. From Civil War, to civil rights. After the war, the US government protected the freed slaves under a system called Reconstruction. After Reconstruction ended in 1877, the Southern states found ways to get around the 14th and 15th Amendments. Black people sank back into a condition of domination by white people. In the 1960s, Black people finally obtained the rights supposedly guaranteed to them by the 14th and 15th Amendments. The enactment of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965 can be considered the final chapter of the Civil War. And here at the bottom of page 15, we see the Civil War timeline. November 6, 1860, all the way to December 6th, 1865. So we can see Abraham Lincoln is elected president. South Carolina, the first of 11 Southern states secedes from the Union. The Civil War begins. Tennessee, the last of 11 Southern states secedes from the Union. The Battle of Antietam. Lincoln issues the Emancipation Proclamation. Lincoln is re-elected. Congress passes the 13th Amendment. John Wilkes Booth shoots Lincoln. General Robert E. Lee surrenders to General Ulysses S. Grant. And finally, Congress ratifies the 13th Amendment. On page 16, you can also see some of the vocabulary words from the story within the glossary. I'm just gonna read through the words on this list. Abolitionists, amendment, campaign, casualties, confederate, emancipation proclamation, fugitive, indivisible, mourning, representatives, seceded, and union.